so I'm trying out this new like video format for what's in my bag or as an everyday carry. So guys, let me know how it is. I'm sure I just put in more cutaways instead of just one straight through, like a vlog style. Okay, so I put in my bag, power bank, obviously. So because I am trying to review this lens, this Sony 11mm f1.8. You can see here. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna to try to record stuff with, to vlog with. Road wireless go mic on the Sony ZV E10 with the 11 mm, and yeah. And because I'm gonna compare it to another lens, the Sigma 16 mm, and because I still need to do some work, my MacBook Pro. This tech pouch. So this tech pouch actually has my hard drive, a random USB C power adapter that I have from Apple, and a mouse just in case I need it. I'm using the Anywhere 3, which is pretty good. Yep. And like any other good person, if I needed good clean audio, I have this, which I have not attached to the current iPhone right now because I am going to denoise it using an app. So while I was holding the iPhone is this Ulanzi MagSafe adapter. The reason why I bought it is because I can just attach the iPhone to it easily. I can just put it on and take it off and yeah, I'm done. And hot shoe case if I want to put a mic or lights or something. So that's pretty good. On another Ulanzi mini tripod, I have two. I thought I lost one, so I bought another one, but apparently this other one I have has a screw-on adapter which is stuck on it. I may need to do something about that, but yeah, so this is the other tripod that I use in case I need to put a, an iPhone. The good thing about this Ulanzi thing I didn't know until like literally two days ago is that you can extend it. Pretty cool. So you can extend the height if you want. Yeah, nice. The bigger tripod that I have, which is another Ulanzi one, actually has a iPhone holder, but I'm just gonna leave it on the ZVE10. And say hi, meow. It's confused. And one more thing, having a a Pod Pro and Apple Watch is very cool. Because one, uh, I can connect to my MacBook Pro, iPad, and iPhone easily. It does the auto switching automatically. So for this Apple Watch, I actually can use the camera app to monitor and also record whenever I want. It's pretty cool. Nice. And now it possibly fits into a very heavy tote bag. If anyone has any suggestions to a uh, not expensive tote bag for cameras and laptops, let me know. Yep, so thanks for watching and let me know if this vlog style is fine for you guys. Yeah, and the sun is very hot. <laughs> thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hope that whatever contents are in the bag actually help you guys out on deciding on what to bring out. <laughs>